Hi, in MeshLab the decorators functions have uh, always been a very powerful way to uh, visualize in real time important information about your 3D model. And in the previous version they were all under the render submenu, while in the new version of MeshLab they have been uh, partially moved to other places. And uh, for example, you have, we have already seen some decorators uh, in the second uh, tutorial about visualization modes. The last uh, tab here is related to the possibility to visualize in real time uh, the boundary hedges, boundary faces, and so on. So these are already decorators that are showing uh, information on screen in real time. And two important decorators have been moved also in the main interface, and these are these two. One is uh, an easy one, which is the visualization of the reference system, so the origin and the main axis. While the other one is uh, the background grid. So the background grid gives you uh, the possibility to uh, um, have a depiction of uh, the uh, also size of the object with respect to a reference that has a, a certain distance between all the lines in the background grid. And one important thing about the decorators is that in this part of the layer dialog you can see that uh, uh, some of these decorators have some parameters that can be changed to change the visualization. So for example the show axis doesn't have parameters but the background grid has them. So for example you can change the spacing of the background lines in order for example to generate like uh, some predefined orthogonal view where you have your background grid as a reference. Uh, or for example you can show the projection of the silhouette uh, on the planes of the background grid. Uh, this uh, option shows also another important uh, aspect of decorator is that sometimes they work in a global way so that they are uh, switched on and off with respect to the whole scene but sometimes there is also um, a notion of a, a current layer so for example for the showing the silhouette you see that the uh, the only object which is projected uh, on the background grid is the current one so if I switch to the other 3D model I have uh, this 3D model which is projected these parameters uh, that uh, can be shown on the 3D model and can be changed right from here. So this is another uh, sometimes useful decorator where you can uh, visualize the normals of the 3D model and so you can change the size of the normals to have a better visualization. This value uh, can be sometimes changed in the options in the global parameters window. So you see here that uh, uh, there are some uh, decorations uh, options that can be changed. So for example if you have the normal length and you want to keep this normal length uh, uh, also next time that uh, MeshLab is open you can just change the parameter and save it. So for example if you are using uh, always I don't know um, models in meters and you know that the normals should be like 5 centimeters uh, then you can uh, write the, the right value so that every time that you switch on the decorator the visualization of the normal will be uh, the right one. Again for example the normal visualization is a, a decoration that works only on the layer on which it has been uh, selected. Uh, other decorations for example may not work but you always have a feedback on this part of the screen so I tried to switch on the curvature visualization decorator but uh, since the layer uh, doesn't have any vertex or face curvature attribute then nothing can be shown. If you have a look also at the, uh, the menu about uh, rendering there are also three uh, more peculiar types of visualization. This one uh, is used to uh, project the current raster uh, layer on the 3D model uh, this other one is quite useful because it gives the possibility to have real-time shadow mapping so you see now that also the shadows are projected on uh, the other elements of the scene on other portions of the surface so this is calculated in real-time with a simple shader 
but again this uh, uh, decorator is applied on the whole scene so just have a look at all these uh, possibilities uh, that uh, can really give you the possibility to show important information about the 3D model and for example you can make a snapshot to be able to visualize all this important information or for example that can be a very nice way to inspect your 3D model without uh, uh, having to do any direct calculation so if you want to for example check if there are no manifold faces or vertices or for example if you want to check if it's the normal associated to the elements of your 2D model are okay or not this is a very easy way to have a, a, a real-time visual feedback thank you